Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install PG Admin on Ubuntu 22.04 LDS version. Let's verify whether PG Admin is there or not. Click on Applications, search for PG Admin. See, we don't have PG Admin. Now open browser. The installation is very simple. Now go to pgadmin.org. This is the official website. See here, PG Admin is the most popular and feature rich open source administration and development platform for PostgreSQL, the most advanced open source database in the world. Now click on Download. Again, click on APT. See here, depths for various Debian and Ubuntu versions available from the PG Admin APT repository. Following platforms are supported. Okay. Now, see, ours is Ubuntu 22. So, first step is see, these are the command to install PG Admin on Ubuntu. I will keep this document at the link in the video description. First, copy this public key link and go to terminal sudo then paste it. So don't have curl then install it. You must have this curl application. This command will create repository configuration file. Copy this one. Paste it here and hit enter. If you are unable to open this page, I will copy these commands in the video description. Next, see here on, on C, we no need to run the update packages because the command itself is having update the repository. Now next command, install pgadmin. See here we have two modes, desktop only mode and web only mode. But if you want to install both the modes, you have to copy this one and run. But if you want only desktop, you have to give hyphen desktop. If you want to only web mode, you have to give hyphen web. So I want to install both the modes. Copy it. Clear the screen. Paste the command. And hit enter. Type way for confirmation. And hit enter. Installation is success. Then click on show applications. Search for PG admin. See, we have PG admin 4. Okay, now open PG admin 4. Show applications. Click on it. Maximize this one. Expand servers. See, at present we don't have any server. So, right click on this one and click on register server. Here, provide the name for the PostgreSQL server. It is the local host. So, I am giving local PG server. Then go to connection tab. Here, if you have the server on the different machine or in the cloud like AWS or Azure or GCP, then you have to provide the host name or IP address here. For me, it is a local host. I can give local host or local IP. And this is the port and this is the maintenance database and this is the user. So next we have to provide the password of this user. Let me show you. So see I have only one user. I have 
this Postgres database. Then click on Save. Expand this one. See the name we have given. Expand databases. See you have the databases. Right click on database and click on Query Tool. Here we can write any queries like in PSQL shell. Suppose if you want to create table C let me one SID int put those m semicolon select entire statement and if you want to click on this execute button. The command which we are going to execute in this query tool will be executed in this database. See here R2 scores. Why? Because we have right clicked on this database and selected the query tool. Whatever the commands executed here, those will be created or updated and modified in Postgres. Okay. If you want to close the only this tab, we have to click on this close. Now select the entire statement and click on run. Table is created. It took this much milliseconds. If you are unable to find, just right click and refresh. See, we have one table in this R2 schools database. If you want to see the dashboard of this server this is the dashboard these are the vids information like tuples tuples out block io different things we can see here if you want to see the statistics we have to click on see these are the statistics statistics for this mission this postgresql server like in the same if you want to add another server we have to click on we have to right click on this one we have to select register the server then in the same way we have to provide the server name and this configure connection and connection details can close see this is desktop mode for web mode copy the script copy the script q to quit exit simply open terminal paste that command provide the pseudo privilege see setting up Provide e any email like I am giving this any any username. I am giving temporary purpose. It's not to see this e email does not exist. Typo and hit enter. Typo and hit enter. See, we have successfully configured web server. Now copy this link, paste it here. See here we have given loopback IP. Also we can give here we have to provide username and password which we have given. It cannot be executed. Click on login, don't save. In the same way, right click and click on register server. Provide the name, local host, connection name, local host. Provide the password for this user. Click on save, don't save. Localhost expand databases, R2 schools, schemas, go to tables. See, we have created one table by using PG admin web console. Okay, that is listed here, and this is the dashboard. The same operations can be performed on this web console also. Go to new tab. Instead of this loopback IP, just give local host. See, it is also same. The other option is IF config. See, this is my IP. Copy it. Go to terminal. Paste the IP. Then slash pg admin 4. Hit enter. See, it is asking, also asking same username and password like what here you have, what here we have given. These both consoles are same like this one. So all three are same. 
So in this video, we have seen how to install configure PG admin for on Ubuntu operating system. Then we have seen how to connect to PostgreSQL server from from desktop tool and web mode. Then we have seen how to create a sample table by using PG admin for. For more PostgreSQL server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.